<clears throat> you owe me a job. What? I may speak in Greek. You owe me a fucking job. And how do you figure that? It's not tough. You got me fired from the last one. No, no. You got yourself fired when you decided to steal from our room under the guise of diligent service. Goodbye. I'm now living without a gainful motherfucking employment. Why don't you use the 20 grand you took from me and that should supplement your welfare? I'm not a welfare bum. I know. No. There's a million other places you could probably work. No, no, right before the season. All stepped up. Oh, what are you talking about? My daughter got an interview under three minutes. Mm, I doubt she's got a rap shit like mine. <laughs> Boy, you say it with such a pride, don't you? Mm hmm Listen, Martin, wouldn't you agree that it's always a good idea to keep friends close and enemies closer? Yes. Listen, mm. Ruth, you told your uncles to kill me. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. You are here, <laughs> aren't you? That's right, I am. Uh -huh. Isn't it better having someone working under you who knows all your dirty little deeds? Um, I mean, if I were in your shoes, I'd shit, I'd sure as shit, rather having someone like me nearby instead of running my mouth to every Tom, Dick and Harry about eight million casual women in. Someone could get ideas, want to take a weight in that big pool of yours, and then when it's over, when it's all said and done, you find your money's gone, and you are at the bottom with an anchor tied around your torso, in theory. Take this. What, why? Just do it. <coughs> okay, good. Good what? You, Ruth Langmore, just committed an overt act. What the fuck is that? You see that camera? Huh? Yeah, that sees you, so that you just took my money. So if I ever get arrested <laughs> for anything about this money, you're an accomplice. Simply put this way, if I ever go to prison, you come with me. Does that mean that I'm hired? <laughs>